Cancers and uh, welcome to your January mid-month reading. So before I start the reading, I do want to make uh, some announcements. Okay, so I, you know, the holidays and people, you know how it is with the holidays. So, uh, you know, I had a lot of visits to do and uh, visitors came over and then I took, I took some time to rest and recharge so I could come to you with my, full, with my cup full. <laughs> so I, here I am. Uh, so I hope that you all had a, uh, an amazing uh, holidays. Happy New Year to all of you again. Thank you for all your beautiful messages. And uh, so the heads up that I have to give you is that there's still people that are scamming. Okay, so like, of course, uh, on uh, Instagram, YouTube as well, they'll go underneath the comments. If there is no uh, check mark next to my name, uh, it is not me. So just report it. Okay, you can report it uh, yourself as well or delete it, uh, whatever it is. Uh, just don't fall for the, any scams because I will not come to you for any uh, I will not come to you on any social media and ask you if you want a reading or that I could read your energy So be careful careful. Okay, because it's a uh, like that for everybody. So just remember that uh, That those people are scammers. Okay, and uh, when I am ready to do readings I will notify you which I'm working on, on for 2023 So I will start doing readings shortly, but I will notify you here on YouTube also, the second thing I want to tell you is that my daughter-in-law, Samantha, or Sam, short AKA Sam, is going to be uh, helping me out with the channel. So um, any type of um, emails are going to come through, are going to come through. You're going to, um, there's going to be underneath the video. You're going to know this underneath the video. Her name will be there. It will be mentioned. It's my daughter-in-law and that's her email. And so for any membership, Okay, for those of you that are in the Q&A, uh, instead of going to Cosmic Moonchild, you're going to go direct to her because um, she will be my secretary to write everything down while I dictate the reading to her with the question and answers. So for the members, for those of you that have, I have been late uh, with your questions, just uh, whatever month I missed, put your question one, two and three and four, whatever it is, send it out to that email that's underneath the video. and. Um, it's going to start moving very quickly now okay because i do have help thank god she came into the channel and she's a like she's an empath as well but she doesn't know she's an empath and she's very highly intuitive and I, that's and she's like a, she's an aquarius by the way so i really love uh, her energy um as well is that um, for those of you that have already started to donate donate to me i want to say a big thank you for that because that helps me to maintain the channel get crystals and also help my mom in getting her her prayer books and her um sometimes uh, you know what you call them uh, her rosary beads you know like i want to get her the special ones not just like the ordinary ones so uh you know because she really loves uh, her rosary beads and uh, w with time a lot of them have worn out so every type of card that i I have and any type of equipment that I'm using and also I got a microphone here for you so a lot of you will hear me loud and clear um, so any guys anyways so for the PayPal uh, there is uh, if you go on top of my um, my front page next to you next to the left side you have to scroll very slowly sometimes the icon doesn't come out but it's there or you could go to my about page and there's a link for PayPal there and that's uh, my daughter-in-law and myself that are in this because you know she's helping me and so i am also donating to her and giving her something for the work that she will be doing for me because she's going back to school for a trade and so i asked her i go well, are you interested in t helping me and she goes yes i love that the work that you're doing and so she will be a part of this um, of the community here uh, patricia 1111 so please welcome samantha uh, she is my daughter-in-law okay so and next, what did I want to say? Okay, so let's get started with your readings. If there's anything else I need to tell you, I will tell you in, in, uh, at the end of the reading if, uh, if I remember, all right? So uh, for those of you that are wearing earphones, please take them out for a second, okay? The bell does not hurt anybody's ears. If it does, it's because you're probably very, very ultra sensitive to it. So just remove your earphones for two seconds as I clear the energy with the bell, okay? This is to clear my energy and your energy and your space. One more time. And one more time.
perfect okay cancers okay so let's check first okay so we're going to take out some oracle cards right okay and uh, this is from uh or this is from um, these cards are um the sword of light from archangel michael they're very good oracle cards some of you could also buy them they are i think they have them on every site uh to get them uh you could always check on google and um you know if you want to pull a card every day uh ask a question or if there's something that you're confused about uh, these are very accurate cards okay so i will take out one for this is for cancers the mid month for january of 2023 yes it's gonna be a great year a lot of everything <clears throat> this is a year of uh, a lot of revelations are gonna come through the truth is gonna come true you're gonna be very clear on everything and you will be also very connected to your gifts that you have and your intuition um, you know uh, I also see like the third eye opening uh, and seeing things the truth okay in a situation here or situations uh, so it's a very good year with the seventh numerology number if you want to read more about it all you have to do is google it and uh, look like look and put the spiritual meaning behind the seven okay and you can have a few of them there and you can read about it if you want okay so it's a very it's it's uh, for those of you that always had a hard time hearing your spirit guys your angels well this time uh, with the seven frequency there's more of that happening of a, of a connection so now these next cards is from your higher self okay okay here we go your higher self and then we're going to take out uh, numerology cards for some of you might hear sandy in the background she's right here next to me hopefully maybe i'll find a way to put her back into the uh <laughs> into the readings maybe i'm going to use the corner over there i'm not sure what i'm going to do because uh, sometimes she doesn't want to be in the camera you know so uh she likes to be hidden but she doesn't mind that uh, you hear her <laughs> okay let's see what your numerology is for the mid-month okay okay that was fast and now we're gonna take out um a coffee cup oracle card for the mid-month in january of 2023 for my beautiful cmc's okay oh this one wants to come out okay and last but not least messages from the universe hmm, that one didn't want to merge okay let's see what's going on here for you cancers so this is for cancer anywhere that you have cancer in your chart this is your reading anytime you see this will be the right time remember it's also general reading but it could also be my predictions that come true so if it resonates claim it if not look at your other placements also um you know in the reading take what's yours and let the rest go and you know if it's not meant for you like you'll know if it's forced or not like if you if it, it something doesn't resonate that means like maybe a sentence will resonate maybe the first part maybe it'll be an oracle card who knows maybe some of you are just coming here for confirmation as well you know um and you're using your own intuition and your own like uh, you know um gut like intuition and stuff like in the sense of uh, how to uh what's <laughs> i just lost my train of thought but your intuition you know what i mean like uh, trusting yourself right with uh, with your higher guides and your angels and spirit and the holy spirit um also um feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that i'm not talking about you cancers and cuspers and of course uh cross watchers are welcome to the reading so let's get started all righty okay cancers mid-month january of 2023 what's happening for cancers in the energy field here in their energy what's happening for cancers please show me the truth and nothing but the truth let the channel come in from yahweh for the holy spirit my ancestors my guides my angels my archangels mother agaya what are the messages for can okay i think they're ready okay no one more they said okay one more 
Okay. Let's see what's going on here for you. Oh, okay. Let's look at the theme. Okay, so let's look at your theme. The theme is the Four of Cups. Okay, there's an opportunity here that's presenting themselves to you. And a lot of you are like, I don't know, like in your emotions, you're bored, you're discontented. It can be something that's always revolving around you. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. It's going to take you a lot of, there's like, there's a, it's, I feel that whatever this offer that's coming in for you, you will have the endurance and the strength and there could be some sort of abundance around you. Yes, abundance. Okay, that's coming in. But like again, there could be a disconnect here that's taking place with the four of uh, cups in energy. Okay, so now um, let's look at uh, the situation at hand for you in the mid month in January. You got the wheel of fortune reversed. So there is a delay. Okay, so there's a delay. Okay, so we'll see. It's all about divine timing here. Now, the delay could be also because Mercury's in retrograde and Mars is still in, that, in, in retrograde until, uh, um, uh, you know, January. I think in January 18, but in the shadow side. So everything will be in the clear by the end of January. Okay. What's crossing you and your challenge is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. It's about stability here. It's about prosperity. It's about, uh, you know, if you're making your own money, your own business, victory, success, there's also a very nurturing energy with this queen of pentacles and energy. So it's about something to come in for you. Uh, so there's a delay for it. Okay. And uh, it's okay because it's all in divine timing. Remember that underneath you've got the ten of cups as well. So it's about some, it could be a relationship for some of you as well. It's about a new beginning in emotions. There's a lot of like a blessings come, coming through here. Uh, so the wheel of fortune is reversed. We're going to see why when we clarify the cards. Let's look at the root. The world so yeah the world card congratulations you graduated you completed something here a cycle a very long cycle and uh yeah there's new beginnings it could also be traveling for some of you this has to do with traveling as well okay so there's a new beginning that's taking place here and uh with the king of wands and energy it's about going after what you want okay there's some type of leadership or taking action let's look at the recent past till now you got the two of swords. Yeah, you're in your head about something, weighing things up. You know, weighing. You were going inward with the two of swords. You had options, or maybe you have maybe you were being pulled in two directions, or uh, you were waiting for something to come in. Uh, but the two of swords and energy, I feel that it's about you going inward. So you had to go inward to listen, to understand, to see what you truly wanted here. And with the temperance reverse, uh, this could have been in December. It could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, but because something was still not in balance here. Okay, so this is about balance. It's about communication. It's uh, really about bringing something into balance. That's what it is for me. That's, you know, honestly, or some type of healing that had to take place. All right, let's look at what you're working towards, your goal. We got two cards here. Yeah, the star card reversed with the page of wands. Yeah, there's something coming in the divine, okay? Divine timing with the wheel of fortune and the star card. Even though they're the reverse, it doesn't mean anything here. It just means that something it has to do with divine timing now, okay? And this is about um, a destination. Uh, some of you could be changing route or changing path. This is about your destiny. It's where you're meant to be, okay? Aquarian energy here. Um, when the wheel of fortune turns around whatever when that comes like full circle here because there is already a completion um yeah it's about a dream come true here and uh, it's a uh, divine timing and you've been seeing the signs it's, there's a sense of uh, of uh, excitement that's taking place here okay or adventure you know really beautiful and energy and very it's a big it's the beginning of early stages of it maybe you're not seeing it now for some of you but this is what's coming up and with the Six of Cups reversed, you healed a lot, okay? Maybe you're feeling still a bit nostalgic because it's, the, you know, especially if you had loved ones that crossed over or, uh, you know, or just could also be pets also because I'm also seeing pets here. Uh, but definitely here, um, there's a sense of healing that took place in closure and moving on. Let's look at the immediate future. You've got the Ten of Swords. Yes, completions are taking place for you here. 
um, even negative thoughts and how you were thinking about situations. It could be the way you were telling what you, you know, maybe what you were talking about to yourself, you know, um, or just endings of cycles that are endings here because you also got the world card. So this makes sense that it's here and it's like something is being released from you and there is light at the end of the tunnel finally because I see that with the Page of Swords as well with the Ten of Swords and every, Pain of Wand, uh, sorry, Page of Wands with the Ten of Swords. It's like there's like something is being released here from you. And again, you got the Ten of Cups. So there is this is about happiness. Okay, be a soulmate energy or just a sense of happiness that's and blessings that are coming for you. Let's look at the outcome. In the outcome, you got the four of swords. You got number 44 now in energy. Okay, so a lot of you are taking time to rest right now. Um, yeah, that's what I did. I recharged. So January would be a time where you're going to be resting. It's also about a time where you've been healing the body, mind, and spirit. And also heart chakra, any type of, sor uh, any type of um, you know... Um, sorrow or grief that you've been going through and trying to gain clarity a lot of you also feel very very overwhelmed with the energies around you or the people or situations with the seven of wands reversed i feel a lot of you also uh felt overwhelmed or a or b or it could also mean in a sense where you um what's the word i want to say you dropped your defenses down like you really like this is a, like these two cards is about going inward the two of swords and the four of swords it's really about going inward okay and following your path here all right and in the overall like i said you got the seven of wands oops reversed followed by the sun followed by the fool so the <coughs> there's definitely new beginnings that are taking place here for you okay and the sun is following through right the sun is the best card in the deck it's about uh, positive vibes po anything that's positive in energy uh, just feeling happy uh, something that's blossoming and growing and there is definitely a new beginning and you are being divinely guided so you are following through with that okay so now we're going to clarify the cards for you and see what's going on okay now i also got the book of answers uh i got this because spirit says that in all my readings now at the end of the actual reading before we go into the oracle oracle cards um, i will put your energy into that ask yourself a question or something that you want to know or maybe it's just something that maybe you don't want to know anything and you want to see and uh, whatever page i pull through with with, with the holy spirit um, will be um, something that maybe one of you need to know okay so the book of answers Let's see what's going on here for my beautiful CMCs. Look at this. The high priestess came up here with the emperor. Whoa. Oh, you're standing in your power. March of 2023 will be very, very... Uh, there is a shift that's going to be taking place. But this could also mean some type of commitment or work. Some of you, this is about your work. What you're uh, maybe opening up your own business could be a commitment here, but it's about going inward. And look at this you got the Nine of Swords, so there will be an unexpected message coming in. This is a message for someone, okay? The Tower is coming in, the Tower is coming in, and it's also bringing in the King of Pentacles, fo also followed by the Ten of Swords. Okay, I'm just showing you the Four of Wands. Okay, oh my God, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there is something happening for you a big time, Cancers. A lot of you are feeling it. Okay, um, you're feeling it, you're feeling different, you're, you, you're more intuitive at this time, or you're really like, um, you know, evolving. I also see the third eye as being open here. Okay, let's see, Cancers. Let's go to the first, before I start with the overall, let's go to the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here for Cancers in the theme? Too many cards just one one card please for cancers for the four cups judgment is coming in you have to make a judgment on something it's important because you're in your head about it maybe you're confused about it um, and maybe you're hearing a lot of people about it whatever if you're talking to others about it whatever it is here you have to go inward 
You have to tune into yourself. Okay, whatever it is, this four of cups here is coming with a revelation. You're going to get a dream, a vision. Okay, this is like the archangel coming in, right? So there will be a judgment here. Okay. Look at this, the Hierophant. Could be marriage for some of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there could be that someone's around you that wants a marriage or this could be about a marriage. Uh, this could also be about the North Node in Taurus that's for, that you're going through this path here. Um, a lot of people are coming to you for help. Maybe you are a mentor to someone or vice versa here. Uh, you got the higher power. You got, uh, you, you're choosing the higher road in a situation. Uh, definitely here, uh, you're, you've been learning a lot about spirituality or whatever it is that you've been going through on your journey. So you've been learning and using different modalities here. And there is something coming in because you got the Ace of Wands, rever uh, uh, not reverse, upright. And that shows to me that there's, this is new energy. I feel that this is something new. I don't feel it's something of the past. Okay, I really don't, right? So I really feel that this is something new that's coming in for you, right? And uh, what Spirit wants you to understand is they don't, they don't want you to miss this opportunity. So there is an opportunity here, but I don't know if you'll have the patience for it or yeah, because there's still a lot of healing that has to take place. It could also be past tense, but I really feel honestly here that a lot of you, yeah, there's something coming through here in completions. Like I also see the month of like, july and august uh, june july august well no, i'll say july and august uh that's coming up here for you so there could be a missed opportunity if you don't watch it like there could be some type of missed opportunity here because i do see success but you're not seeing it and that's why they're wanting you to go inward and they want you to look at all the signs around you okay so let's look at uh the fool the sun and the seven of wands what can you tell me about the fool the sun and the seven of wands reversed. Where's my coffee? Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, something is definitely coming into balance. Whatever you put out there, whatever you've done for others, charities, whatever you did, uh, is coming back to you. So something is definitely coming into balance and there's completion that's around you here. You see that? There's completion. Okay, so this is very beautiful. Now let's look at the uh, situation. Now let's see here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed? I think it has to do with uh, planetary energy here, honestly. It's all in divine timing. It's not far. You need to get out of your head. Queen of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Hangman reversed. The Two of Cups. Okay. Wait a second. The King of Cups, the Hangman reversed with the Two of Cups, with the Ten of Cups reversed. Something to do with your happiness, a soulmate energy, feeling contented in a situation. Something is coming. There's a delay, okay? There's a delay. There's a delay. Maybe in travel, there's a delay, something here. you got the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, the King of Cups, the Hangman reversed with the Two of Cups. There's definitely an energy here where you're seeing clarity in a situation. Uh, you were idle for a long time, stagnant for a long time. There could have been a time where you had to sacrifice for something here. There's someone here coming into balance for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Spirit is talking to me, sorry. So there's someone here, or could, this could be you as the King of Cups coming into balance here, or, or this could be around someone around you. They could be a water sign, they don't have to be, but there is a special connection here, and I feel that you have the clarity that you need and you surrender to a situation. Um, some of you, you're, you're, you need to step out of your, you need to get out of your own way, Cancers, and I'm saying this for your own good. For some of you, now remember, this will not pertain to all of you, you'll know, okay? Uh, because what it is, is that you're coming in as the Queen of Swords, okay? And you're weighing this down because you do not want this Five of Swords to show up, okay? In the sense where there's been people around you, we know this, we've been through going through this for a long time and people not being honest with you, hiding stuff behind your back, mimicking, gossiping, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you are not playing that game anymore. Not that you were playing that game, but you're not taking that BS anymore. So you are standing up for yourself here and it's a triumph energy where you are, you're at. And whatever it is that's coming for you, okay, it's up to you because you're co-creating this energy here, okay? And the Queen of Swords, yeah, she could be thinking logically and she doesn't take any BS, okay? But at the same time, uh, with the Queen of Swords, 
I feel here some of you are weighing down your options from your heart to your mind, from logic to the mind, like logic to the heart. You're thinking about, about it, okay, you're in your head, you've been waiting, okay, you have to go inward. It's very important to go inward in this situation because this could be a missed opportunity. Something is not what it seems for some of you out there, okay? Even though it feels like it's a pattern that maybe you went through in the past, this is different, is what I'm being told, all right? Now, okay, let's look at the Queen of Pentacles here that is uh, crossing you and, of course, also um, your challenge. There's stability here. And there is someone here that is balanced, that is diplomatic, that... Uh, there's a you know they they uh, they they value a lot of they they value family, but they're more reserved. They're not like you, the Queen of Cups. Okay, though that could be you, but there is a beautiful connection here, whatever this connection means for you. So let's look at this Queen of Pentacles. You got the Strength card, Leo. The Sun, Leo energy. Wow, very strong, Leo. That could be someone has like maybe you have a strong leo energy in your chart or there is someone around you that has a strong leo energy oh boy that's very good and the page of pentacles look at this this is really good okay the emperor reverse um there is a delay definitely okay something has to change here someone has to put their boundaries higher on in a situation um or they have to reevaluate how they're gonna do everything from scratch whether this is business, come, any business, family, or some type of commitment here. Strength card, the sun card, the page of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. There's an offer coming in. Now, let's say it's a job offer. This is something that's higher paid. I see abundance and you have the endurance and the strength and the courage to go through this. I feel a lot of like sun energy, yellow, orange energy here. Really beautiful, sacral, a lot of like creative energy. Um... Now, let's say it's a job. There's an opportunity coming in, okay, that's going to bring you this Queen of Pentacles. It's here for you, okay? And uh, I see, like, higher paid. It's also how you value yourself, okay, and how much work you've been putting into yourself. The sun is shining on you, right? Uh, so it's definitely, like, and you, you did get the sun card twice in your reading, right? For others of you, this could be also someone coming in to give you an offer. And I feel that they're helping you financially for some of you out there. And um, it could be a start of some, a new project or a new person coming in that there's also passion. They're coming in like there, there could be someone in, in terms of love energy here. And yeah, they, 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 seem, uh, they seem pretty loyal and, uh, and good people and faithful. Okay. But again, there, it's the beginning stages of it. But again, like I said, this could be happening now for you. And it could also be happening July, like I said, August of 2023. Let's look at the world card in the root. So you completed something here. There's new beginnings taking place, but you're pausing. Why? Because you're in the Four of Swords. You're tired. Okay, you need to recharge. It's important. Um, some of you might be traveling. Maybe there's a delay in traveling here. Or there's someone around you that there's a delay in traveling. It's only normal. Mercury's in retrograde. Uh, Mars is in retrograde. You know, so there's a lot of, you know, retrograde energy here. So let's see what else is going on. Got the seven of pentacles reversed the five of pentacles <laughs> the page of swords reversed and so yeah you're going inward some of you have virgo in your chart or you're dealing with a virgo it doesn't mean you're going you are following your own path it's time to be in the hermit mode again yes cancers you go often in the hermit mode but especially if there's something confusing around you and you're not uh, seeing it properly or there's if there's confusion, that's what's when you go inward. And all these cards are showing me that you need to go inward and you are going inward, right? So I trust that you are going inward, Cancers. Uh, it's time to, you need to keep quiet about certain things in your life, right? Of course, okay? But it's about digging digging deeper into your journey, into your, like, to really know what you're hearing, what you're seeing. Because spirit, Holy Spirit, okay? The divine, the angels, your archangels, whoever that you pray or who you value here, they will send you signs. It's right in front of you, okay? And it's about reflecting. So there's a time of reflecting here because you, okay, in the past here, it shows you're in the past, okay, uh, where you resolved a lot of like healing energy or of the sense that you, you, had, you, had, you resolved 
uh, feeling left out, abandoned or ghosted. It could be that there was also, uh, you know, uh, maybe new ideas or collaborations weren't coming in. Maybe you uh, emotions were stuck to and how you were thinking or perceiving something here. Uh, and some of you gave up on something or just put something on the side because you weren't like you felt that you did a lot of hard work in the situation, right? But what I'm being shown here is that the truth was revealed to you. Okay. And you did get you did come into completion on something here. That's very you went you went you got into completion on something here. Because I do feel that there's going to be some type of communication that's coming in. Okay? There is. Some of you have to think about how you talk to yourself, how you feel. Because you have the key here to change the thought pattern. Some type of... Because this is what they keep showing me. Thought patterns. Thought patterns. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And you got the Wheel of Fortune upright. So something is shifting here for you. Because of the shift or because of the cycle that you had to go through. Okay, and a lot of you have been going inward about this. Okay, you know the truth about a situation. Okay, uh, there is a wish fulfillment that's going to be granted here for sure. For sure, that's coming in. And it's about destiny. Okay, something that's coming. Faith. Of course, the Wheel of Fortune is always about changes, right? And uh, it's karma. It's luck. And it's here for you. Now, let's look at the Page of Wands with the star reversed here. Why is the... Oh, that was a lot. You got the Ten of Swords again. Okay, you got the page of wands again. Here you go. You're coming into uh, you're coming into yourself with the chariot energy and the two of wands reversed. Yeah. So um, before I even okay, so you did get the knight of swords around this. Okay, so there will be an unexpected message coming in that's going to shift everything around because you got the page. Okay, something in the past year and a cycle again. You see, you got the ten of swords twice. A cycle ended here for you cancers okay it was a difficult sun it was a lot of betrayals and hurt and you know you had to go through the cycle and uh, it's just showing up that you are ending it okay or going through the dark and the night of the soul and coming out of it to get that clarity that you need and a lot of times in the past where you made plans with people or situations or even now if you made plans with something something came in to end it okay to change your course to change your path so again, you've got the page of wands twice. So definitely something is coming in divine timing. You've been seeing the signs and there's a sense of adventure and you're going towards your goal and your dreams. This is something that you truly wanted for some of you could be marriage for others of you it could be marriage and working together with the person. Uh, it doesn't have to be marriage for others of you it could be anything and you're taking control and you're taking your power back and you're moving away from people or situations that no longer serve you here okay it's also a travel card so a lot of you will be traveling there's a sense of traveling by plane boat and i also see traveling by car okay and you're going to get back on the path because there is an unexpected message that's going to come in and it's coming in with the king of pentacles okay which brings prosperity or could be another counterpart and uh yeah so uh you know, so those of you that are single, you might be getting into a relationship. For those of you that are in a relationship, you're maybe you're getting engaged and married. Who knows? Okay. But there's definitely that around you for you. Okay. So now let's look at this Ten of Swords in energy in the immediate future. You got the Ace of Wands. Yeah. New energy coming in. For some of you, this is new energy. I, okay. I'm... Um, I really feel that there's a new person, a new job, a new something that's coming in, a new opportunity, an investment that, that's going to bring you growth. And uh, there's a lot of growth and potential here. New passion. You know, you, you, you will feel revived, as, of course, you know. The Six of Swords, the Six of Wands. Like, I can't make up this stuff up. And the Eight of Wands reversed. You're not going to feel stuck in your head anymore. You really are bringing something into balance here. You also got the Empress energy, okay? There's new golden opportunities that are taking place that are opening up for you here, okay? And definitely here, an ending that's taking place. New energy. You're going through a transition, okay? Uh, that's definitely here uh, from a time where, you know, not too many blessings to a lot of blessings coming in success victory being recognized you know reward from the universe but definitely beautiful energy here some of you might be relocating or moving there is travel indicated here for you so now let's look at the four swords in the outcome okay wait a second four swords 
why is the four of swords here the page of cups reverse wanted to come out but they went back into the deck so that's why the four of swords mean is i'm so you're filling up your own cup right now okay you got the tower so changes are coming cancers and i feel like you're ready for it but you have to get out of your head stop uh you know and really go in because sometimes you know you might ask advice from another person but they're they probably be, they could help you but they could be perceiving something different than you are and sometimes the messages that are being sent to you from the universe and holy spirit is only meant for you and sometimes you need to be still you know still in silence and listen so let's look at that you got the king of wands so you got the king of wands and the king of cups and energy here it could be a person around you or this could be you and energy okay oh boy no i also got the four so you four pentacles it's about releasing now a lot of you are releasing that what's been holding you back the three of swords you see you're healing the high priestess <laughs> yeah 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 it's about patience here patience my dear you're bringing something into balance there's a lot of healing there could be someone here that is uh there's could be a special connection between two people that's very telepathic i'm feeling as well there's a lot of healing again balance balance bringing something into balance communication is the key here but definitely here there's a beautiful energy of someone taking action okay they may have come in as a page or a uh, or a knight but they are actually kings is what i'm hearing okay and also um yeah you know from the three of swords you know with the tower okay looks okay in the nine of swords here yeah you are there's a sense of like you were some of you were waiting for some type of communication to come in there could have been a delay there could have been a heartbreak or uh separation uh, sorrow you know you were feeling a lot here but from the three to the four okay and the breaking point that took place you are healing with the four swords and energy and yeah because there's a tower that's coming in something is shifting for you so there is change okay that's coming in and someone here is taking action there's a leadership role and there's a bigger picture to the situation that you're seeing you have to be open to everything cancer really broaden your mind here okay and your horizons and it's about going inward okay there's something here you're not seeing it could be a secret but it, for me this is a positive secret why because you got the sun card twice you got many cards that show that you're coming into balance okay um you just have to get out of your head and also uh, the way you talk to yourself you know your thought patterns you have to shift them if you feel something negative or you're thinking negative about something um you know just go inward but at the same time um change your thoughts okay and put some music maybe put music uh, or do uh, exercise or go for a walk outside because definitely there is something coming in here for you all right that's very very positive now <clears throat> before i now uh before i go to the oracle cards right uh you know there's a judgment here that's coming in so this is the book of answers so all i want all of you to do is uh, take a deep breath in let's do it together one more time keep it hold it for a second or so and release and ask your question if you don't want to ask a question i'm just going to put the energy for cancers for the mid month what is it that the book of answers could give you i'm just going to close my eyes for a second and put the cancer energy in here cancers on the collective what is the message here okay so i'm just gonna what is the message here for cancers on the collective it may not sometimes make sense right away what the message will give you but write it down or jot it down and look at it in a couple of weeks from now maybe something will jog through it it's a good time to make plans okay that's your message for cancers and now let's look at the oracle card from sword of light archangel michael of course i have uh, my reading glasses so uh, you have number 23 which is a five 23 is a very also it's a very 2023 <laughs> pray from the heart cancers pray from the heart it says your prayer really can move mountains reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold okay there you go beautiful all right from your higher self you got number 16 
which equals to a seven, which is also numerology for 2023, which is a seven. It says to conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself, Cancer. Be brave and be yourself. So do, to conform is to die inside from your higher self. Okay. And uh, in the numerology, you got zero, zero, which is the sacred number. Uh, okay. And your, um, your affirmation, repeat three times. I am observant. I am observant. I am observant. And so it is. Angels ask for your attention, Cancers. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening around you. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. See how your reading is like all connected together? From the coffee cup, you got groom. So there is some marriage here on the table for some of you. Okay, maybe you're going to be meeting someone here. Marriage and husband. Okay, or you're going to be at a wedding or you are going to get married. I just want to see the additional message for this card here for groom, just in case I don't want to miss anything here. Yeah, so it's seeing someone marry or getting married to someone, all right, or someone around you. And from the universe, there's uh, one card here that says addictions, okay, uh, physical addictions. It could be uh, uh, emotionally addictive thoughts or other negative patterns of behavior are affecting this connection. It's how you're thinking about it. You also got thought patterns. Look at that. Get out of your head and into your heart, Cancers. This is the truth. And renew an adventure. A return of passion and play. Community is healing. Laughter, travel, and new things can respark your love life. Cancers, you had a beautiful reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate all of you. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. You know, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you know, like, comment, okay, and share. And know that I have, of course, I love you and I always will have your back. And don't forget that together we are one, together we are love, and together we are one. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.